guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am currently on cycle day 3 but um, before we talk about that I just want to go over some things that have been happening. So in my last video I explained that I wasn't feeling well and Robert and his granny and his brother weren't well they were both in hospital and um, so just to let you know um, they are both out of hospital and um, Robert's brother got out um, early last week I think it was like Tuesday of last week and Robert's granny got out on Friday and um, they are both doing Stephen is doing very well so Robert's brother is doing very well but Robert's granny is still not recovered there's still something um, wrong with her she's very frail very fragile and um, so if you could just keep her in your prayers and your thoughts and um, just to send her that little bit of um, positive energy um, so thank you for the lovely comments that you left in my last video and um, I'll keep you updated on their progress as regarding to me I am about 80% better I'd say um, I, in my last video, I explained how I had blisters in the back of my throat and I had a UTI. and um, So the UTI is gone, but the blisters in my back of my throat are now gone. and um, They have not been paining me since yesterday, but they did multiply and they went on my tongue. And then I also got like a yeast infection in my mouth, um, which is my very first time having that. And I'm nearly sure it was from the antibiotics I was on when I got my tooth, my when I got my wisdom tooth out. Um, so I never had that before and it was painful. My tongue hurt, my gums hurt, my teeth are really sensitive. I had loads of blisters in my mouth. It was horrible. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. But again, thank you all for your kind words and um, I will keep you updated on myself as well on when I am back to 100%. Um, so last week um, Robert had taken some days off work and our plan was to travel around Ireland and take um, some vlogs and whatever but um, because I was so sick we didn't really get to do that but we did get to go away for two days. So the very first day we didn't go very far, it's, it's in the county that I live in. We went to the Irish National Stud and Japanese Gardens and then the second day we went to Dunleary Pier. Um, so I will be doing a two part vlog um, and I will put those up one this week and one next week and we also plan to uh, every weekend until the weather gets bad here we plan to go um, a number of places and I will um, be sure to vlog those and put them up and I will let you know when they go up. Um, also, another update I have is I got an appointment for my fertility clinic. So my appointment is on Friday, August the 29th at 10.30 a.m. And I am excited but scared. And the reason is I just think that the first thing she's going to hone in on is my weight. Um, but I am trying to lose weight. So hopefully I can lose 3 or 4 kilos before I can go see her. Um, from when my GP weighed me um, just to kind of prove that I have been trying to lose weight um, so I'll keep you updated when that comes around and let you know how that went um, last cycle was a 33 day cycle um, it's 33 days and I got to 17 DPO so again I'm not sure how accurate that is I have not um, got my blood work taken so I don't know the levels or even if I did ovulate um, I will put in a picture of my chart from Fertility Friend but um, my baseline was very low um, so I'm not quite sure if it happened and as you can see it was very up and down, up and down, up and down and I was not good at taking my temperature at the last half of the month uh, or last half of my DPO um, I take my, I wake myself up by my Fitbit um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Fitbits but um, there is an alarm you can set and it vibrates and it wakes you up um, so at the very start 
I was very good at taking it. It would vibrate, I'd wake up, I'd take my temperature and I'd go back to sleep. Um, but what was happening me then was I got used to the vibration. i just turn off and not really wake up and just go back to sleep. Um, but this month I am determined to take my temperature every single day. Um, so to get a better clear understanding of if ovulation is happening or not. Um, so today is currently cycle day three. Um, I started spotting on 14 DPO. Um, my question regarding that is, what do you classify as cycle day one? I've always classified it as when, full, when the full flow starts. Um, so if you could just leave in the comments below and let me know how you classify cycle day one. Is it when you start spotting or is it when AF is in full flow that you start um, counting it as cycle day one? Um, another question I have, most of you probably won't know is, as you know, I use the ovulation microscope um, to try to pinpoint my ovulation. Um, but this morning I took it on cycle day three and it had partial, just about full ferning. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. And my question is, if any of you do know anything about these, what is your opinion on the picture I just inserted there? Um, obviously, I will have to see if it continues for a couple of days. If it does, I will take a pregnancy test. Um, but I really don't think I am pregnant because I did take a pregnancy test on cycle day 33. Um, and it was a negative and the very next day I got AF um, so and I ha am the AF has been very clotty and um, it's not it's not heavy but um, it's like a good regular medium flow and um, but it has been extra clotty this month um, so yeah if you could help me on either of those things about cycle day one or about my ovulation burning and um, that would be great if you just leave them in the comments below and um, if you are on Instagram or if you are on Twitter I will leave both of those in the description below and don't forget to follow me along there I do update my Instagram um, a lot more than I do record these TTC updates um, but I would like to say thank you so much for watching and um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!